I'm using a rice flour, so some people use all-purpose flour. For me, I'm using a rice flour. And yeah, the next one. Just whisk this first. So, ilagay na natin yung one can of coconut milk natin. Ayan. So, isulit natin. This is my 
my own version so if you notice some people making photo cheese not the same as mine but this is my own version so there you go now we need to put in the middle of our flour okay slowly slowly So, makikita yung mga ingredients niya. Check na lang ninyo dyan sa uh, baba na recipe natin. Ang uh, complete recipe natin. Ayan. So, pagkatapos ninyong haluin, haluin ng haluin, huwag masyadong haluin ng haluin, <laughs> Kasi maraming bubble siya. Pag na-bubble siya, yung puto ninyo ay talagang sobrang alsa. So, ang ginagawa ko sa akin, ito ay version lang ng kusina mo, kusina ko. Sinasala ko siya pagkatapos. Ayan. So, para hindi siya masyadong aalsa. At saka, ma-check na rin ninyo kung wala bang kumpo-kumpo sa loob. Ay, kumpo-kumpo. Ano ba yan? yung hindi siya na may mix ayan so nakita ninyo at saka yun nga mayroon pang hindi na mix siya so pag nasali yan sa puto ninyo malamang may mga hindi na lumuto na part sa puto ninyo ayan so clean yung iba dahil nga rice flour ang ginagamit nila ay sinusok nila ng 8 hours. Sa akin naman, libre siya ng room temperature. Tapos, um, pagkatapos ng isang oras, pwede ko na siyang start lutuin. Ayan. So, guys, it's, all, it's already one hour. It's more than an hour. Um, I think our mixture rice putu mixture is already ready. So, let's put in the holder. But since I don't have a photo molder, I'm using this cupcake molder. <laughs> so this is the first time that I'm using this. But I think it's work. So let's start putting all the photo mixture. Alright, so we don't need to put all over. It's just only like three fourths. So it will not really overflow. And then while we're waiting for the mixture to be ready, I already boiled water for the steam. So now it's ready. So that's what you see. Here you go. Okay. So let's just put it in. And let's... Here you go. better to wrap this with a cloth but then since that this is professional for steamer used for steam um, I don't need to wrap with a cloth but usually you need to wrap it with cloth so let's cover it and wait for about 14 minutes and then let's just put the cheese on the top and then wait about one minute and then it's ready all right let's see and wait so I think it's time for us to check if it's ready. Ayan, amoy pa lang. Puto na. Ayan. Look at that. It's not good. Now it's time for us to put the cheese in on the top. Yeah. And then, uh, it depends on the size of your molder though. Uh, kung maliit kasi, 
pwedeng 12 minutes lang. Kung malaki, ayan, pwedeng gawin na niyo ng 14, tapos 1 minute para pag-melt ng cheese. Ayan, so takpanuhin natin para pag-melt lang yung cheese. So ayan, tapos na yung 1 minute natin. So let's check. Ooh, it's very good. Looking good. Alright, so let's transfer it to the place and ready to serve. So rice puto with cheese is ready. Ayan na siya. Ayan. So you can pair it with coffee or tea, whatever you like. But for me, I like tea. Okay, so it's looking yummy. And so let's start eating. Enjoy!